Hi everyone, welcome to another session of the HBL Files. Today we will be discussing a problem about acoustic impedance and attenuation. Let's begin. For this problem, we have the data for the acoustic impedance Z and the absorption coefficient mu for fat and for muscle. Also, the thickness of the layer of fat on an animal, as given in the illustration, will be investigated using ultrasound. The intensity of the parallel ultrasound beam entering surface S of the layer of fat is I. The beam is reflected from the boundary between the fat and muscle. The intensity of the reflected ultrasound detected at the surface S of the fat is 0.012i. We are asked to calculate the intensity reflection coefficient at the boundary between the fat and the muscle, as well as the thickness of the layer of fat. Let's now solve each of the questions. For our first question, we are asked for the intensity reflection coefficient at the boundary. What does it mean when we talk about this coefficient? The intensity reflection coefficient actually tells us how much of the intensity of the ultrasound reaching this boundary get, that gets reflected. Again, the intensity reflection coefficient tells us how much of the intensity reaching this boundary will get reflected. And in order to do that or to solve that, we need this data for the acoustic impedance of the two materials involved. And once we have these values, we can simply use the formula for the intensity reflection coefficient, which is this one. Remember that I sub R pertains to the intensity or the reflected intensity at the boundary, while I sub O is the initial intensity. Now, the Z2 and Z1 will both pertain to the acoustic impedances of the materials. You might be wondering what's going to be Z1 and what's going to be Z2. Well, it doesn't actually matter because after subtracting here or adding over here, we get to square the values. Now, all we have to do is substitute this values, this formula, giving us this one and a final value of around 0 0.018. That means 0 0.018 of the intensity reaching this boundary gets reflected from this boundary. Now, one tip, guys, in uh, doing the solution for the intensity reflection coefficient it can actually veer away with the multiplier times 10 raised to 6. Because as you noticed, you have the times 10 raised to 6 as the multiplier for both the uh, acoustic impedances of the fat and the muscle. So after doing all the calculations, that multiplier will get canceled out. So that means you can actually solve the intensity reflection coefficient by simply using 1.7 minus 1.3 squared, of course, you have to square the difference, divided by the square of the sum of 1.7 and 1.3. And again, guys, your final answer will be 0 0.018. And that's it for the first question. Let's now go to the second question. For the second question, we are asked to calculate the thickness of the layer of fat. To answer this question, let's look at the given information. This part of the question can actually be solved or be divided into two parts. The first one will be this part over here. The intensity of the parallel ultrasound beam entering the surface S of the layer of fat is I. Now, where is that? It will be around here. Now, remember that the ultrasound will traverse the layer of fat. And when an ultrasound travels through a material, that ultrasound decreases in intensity, which is also known as attenuation. The ultrasound 
undergoes or experiences attenuation. That means when that ultrasound with an initial intensity I reaches this boundary over here, its intensity will not be the same. It will be something smaller. And to indicate that, to indicate the difference, we'll assign that new intensity to be I sub 1. This is the first part of this question. Next, the beam is reflected from the boundary between the fat and the muscle. Now, remember, when an ultrasound of a certain intensity reaches a boundary like this, part of the ultrasound can get transmitted, part of the ultrasound can get reflected. Now, if you still remember, we actually solve for the intensity reflection coefficient for this boundary. And again, what does that mean? It tells us how much of this intensity will get reflected at this boundary. And based from our answer in the previous question, it's 0 0.018. That means 0.018i will get reflected at this boundary. And then that ultrasound that gets reflected will again travel the layer of fat. And once again, that ultrasound will get attenuated, which means this intensity will again decrease. By how much? Look at this one. The intensity of the reflected ultrasound detected at the surface is of the fat is 0 0.012i. And that will be here. This is, or these are the two parts of this problem. Now, let's go to the solution. When we talk about attenuation of ultrasound, it follows the same equation with the one used for x-rays using this general equation over here. Now, what is this? I is the intensity of the ultrasound after passing through a thickness or distance x, while I sub 0 is the initial intensity of the ultrasound. And then mu is the absorption coefficient of whatever material it passed through. Let's apply this general equation to the first part of the problem. If you look at this one, the initial intensity of the ultrasound is indicated by I. The final intensity will be I sub 1. And that will be the intensity after passing through a thickness or um, a distance of x. That means our formula for the first part will be like this, I sub 1, which is the intensity after passing to a distance or a thickness of x. And then I is the initial intensity. And again, mu will be the absorption coefficient of fat. Now, let's look at the second part. In the second part, 0 0.018 I sub 1 is the initial intensity of the ultrasound. Final intensity, once it reaches the surface, will be 0 0.012 I. And that will be the intensity after passing through a thickness of X of the layer of fat. That means our equation will be 0 0.012 uh, I is equal to 0 0.018 I sub 1 e raised to negative mu x. We now have the, uh, these two working equations. And in case you already noticed, each of these equations will have I sub 1 and I. We can actually continue the solving process by replacing this I sub 1 by this expression we get this. Let's check the exponents of E. This mu will be the mu or the absorption coefficient of fat, since um, in these two scenarios, we have the ultrasound passing through the layer of fat. While this x and this x over here will again pertain to the same thing, which is the layer or the thickness of the layer of fat. 
That means we can combine these two terms, giving us this one. Notice that the left and right side of the equation will contain the initial intensity i. That means we can cancel that one out. Continuing the process, we'll divide uh, each side of the equation by 0 0.018, giving us this one. And we'll get the natural logarithm of each of the sides, giving us this. Now remember, when we get the uh, natural logarithm of e, the answer will always be equal to its exponent. So we have this one. Manipulating the equation and isolating x will have this. Now, where did this 48 come from? It came from this one, which is particularly the absorption coefficient of the layer of fat. Finally, this gives us a value of 4.2 times 10 raised to negative 3 meters, which is the thickness of the layer of fat. And that's it, guys. That's the, that is how we solve this problem. I hope everything's clear. And as always, thank you for learning with me today. And see you on the next session of the HBL Files.